Hey guys, this is Kevin, your teacher. Hey, uh, I suggest, so this is a, uh, <clears throat> what is it? General's 4B charcoal. This is how they come out of the bag or out of the store. Do not draw with this pencil like this. Um, <clears throat> this is a semi-sharpened. This is actually one of the ones I also like. This is the Carbothello Neutral Black. <clears throat> this is the, I think the 1400 750 is its name. Right there, it's started rubbed off because I use them a lot. And um, <clears throat> sorry, my voice is going already this morning. Um, you want to sharpen them. So what I do is I use a hobby blade like this, get or a you know kind of a box cutter knife, and kind of sharpen this blade. Sorry, the um, lead is about inch and a half, inch long. The softer the pencil, maybe a little less, but you want to have a nice taper. So I'll kind of sharpen this way like that hold on a sec okay just want to make a place so i can sharpen at my dining room table so i sharpen uh like this i'm left-handed so it might be backwards but i use my my thumb to kind of create pressure and i roll kind of have a nice taper like this this is so i can use the pencil on the side Sorry, I'm, you can see, I can just notice, I can see my Adidas, uh, sand, my flop, flop, flop shoe. So kind of like that. I don't want any sharp edges on there. You can see so far like that. Not perfect yet. Now I'm going to take, I think I have maybe 100 or 80 grit sandpaper. I like actually 100, but this is probably 80. You can see I've sharpened warm pencils, white chalk pencils, and the black. So I'll take it and I'll just kind of curve it, like kind of make like a curve. And then just kind of, and I'm rotating like this as I kind of create like a piston. And this is messy, so do this in a place at home where you can put this in your trash bin. So I'm slowly, and then I'll do a little bit of roundy. Not tons of pressure. You'll get a feel for it. Starting to get a better taper. At school, I always ask students to come early so they can sharpen pencils because it takes usually a few minutes per pencil and you want to have four or five ready to go when you come to draw. Nice kind of gradual taper like that. So there's kind of how I want that pencil to look when I'm ready to draw. See that? I think, I wonder if people are drawing like this. Don't, we want to draw like this. Okay, now let's talk about, show you why that matters. So I'm just on a piece of smooth newsprint. And you know, if you have a pencil that's just a point, it can draw a point like that. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. But I want to be able to do this. Create like nice soft form. Like if you think about it, you know, if I'm creating like a little egg shape. Um, I wonder if any racer here. There's always somewhere else when you need it. Oh, here's one. So kind of clean up that shape there. Let's say I have a light source coming down like this. So I'll create like a little shadow edge or terminator, also a core shadow, form shadow edge. And on that point, you just can't get that nice kind of uh, shape. I even create a little, it's like kind of a sphere or egg shape. Give a little cast shadow like an ellipse. And look how nice those shadows are, just nice and flat. With And that's because I'm drawing on the side. And it also helps my pencil stay sharp. Um, when I want to create more rendered form, it's also ideal to have this side plane because you can do this. So you can just gradate like that to create form. My Terminator, if it's getting too sharp, I'll come over it again and soften it to create kind of a fuzzy but clear shadow edge. And then I'll pop in a highlight. And then I'll make it a little brighter right up at the kind of the top edge of the form. Let's put a little background to them. This edge looks too sharp. I'll just soften it. 
with my, and then all of a sudden, without erasing, I have kind of automatic reflected light. Kind of cool. Push my cast shadow a little bit darker. Soften the far edge of that. And they have a nice little form. Nice tapered pencil. It's going to help you. This thing can't really do that. Okay, maybe a little bit. But it's too short. So you want to kind of do that. So th I just wanted to create like a little video to give you guys some thoughts on how to... Um, how to create, how to get your pencil sharp so you can make, make nice drawings. Okay, thank you.